Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. 54 degrees at 8.58 a.m. and I am your host, Fakamawa, on a center. Oh boy. Just had a little chest pain. Got some pain in my lower left back. Pain in the ass. I'm a pain in the ass. And what else can we tell you? Nothing's new. There's that Mackie. There's my brother, Prince and co-star, Max. Oh, yeah. There's that Samuel. Is that Sully over there? I can't see. There were some city chickens on the line. It's a bright, sunny, and fairly clear morning. We don't have that stifling humidity we've had. Yesterday it was rainy, and it was pretty brutal. And I spent the day cleaning floors. And then at 5 o'clock I went to work. And worked till 9. Came home. Heard a little glitch in the line in the basement. So I ran the sewer tape through it. And it stuck in the, the line. So that's today's project, one of them. I was down there fiddling with it. I was cooking some chicken in a pan and turned it off and, and you know, realized that I couldn't leave well enough alone and should have just waited till tomorrow, which is today, to tackle the project. But oh no, and I really jimmied things up good. And I decided, okay, that's it. Go eat your supper. Get a shower and have your supper, so. I thought I'd turn the pan back on to uh, low to uh, heat it up again because I had the chicken cooked and then I was fiddling with the toilet line, like I said, the sewer line. And went in the shower and then when I got out of the shower, the kitchen was filled with smoke. Instead of turning the thing to low, I turned it to high and burnt the shit out of my dinner. <laughs> Hung with the loves, gave him some greenies and treats, and watched the X Files and fell asleep watching who knows what. I can't remember, but here we are. Come on, Sam. Today we're going to hopefully get that sewer tape unstuck and get a bike ride in and attend a funeral. Which not really looking forward to, but what do you do? Hey, Sammy. Oh, yeah, so we're going to take a little break right now and have a cup of coffee. Welcome back, and I don't mean that at all. There's the princess. There's that princess Elsie. Sully's laying down on the grass over there. I don't know where Mikey and Max went. There's that Samuel. Come on, Sam. Come on, Bobby. We got a few city chickens up on the wire. The conjurers are telling us it's going to be 72 degrees today. We might get some rain. I don't know. Take what you get, I guess. Okay, Elf just jumped in her chair. Maxie's breaking her balls. Yeah, nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Oh boy. We're back and Maxie's joined us for a cuddle. Things were starting to get ugly with Elsie over there. Now it looks like Sully's trying to give her some grief. Sammy's on the move. Checking out underneath the steps. Oh boy. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, man. I got even less to say than I usually do. But it won't stop me from gabbing on. While we're plugging away at our readings and our prayers, our coffee, Sully just got up and turned around and laid down in a different spot. Elsie's still in her chair. 
Mikey's still off on an adventure somewhere, and Max and Sam are inside. Oh, boy. It's nice just sitting here. And I'm really digging down and praying and asking for a lot of help this morning to try to stay positive and not go to those deep, dark, deep, dark places I've been in for so long, you know. I've really been struggling at work and interacting with people that I really have, and <laughs> I just don't want to do it anymore. But do what I must until something else comes up, which... Oh, boy, we're just waiting out a few things that we've been waiting on, and we'll see what happens. i got to see how that disability case is going to go. Oh, my MRI. I know I'm going deaf, too. I've had tinnitus for years, for years, for years. But if I'm not looking someone in the eyes and read their lips while I'm listening, I have a hard time hearing what they're saying. You know, it's not just the ringing. I'm actually going deaf. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, we don't have to work today, so I shouldn't even be thinking about that. Not at a job-type job. Oh, boy. And speaking of jobs, I had a, supposed to have this Saturday coming up off, but a co-worker wanted it off. It's the anniversary of her mother's death or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, and if it was, it would have been some bullshit thing. I, I would have said no, but... Uh, nobody else could cover the shift. It's a two to six, so I said I'd do it. Anyway, we're coming up on seven years since my brother John left this place. That'll be on the 15th. That's the day we're taking Sam down to see his heart specialist. Well, look who just came to see us. It's that princess. It's that beautiful princess Elsie. Oh, I love you, honey. How are you? Hmm? She's got such nice soft furs and soft fur. And she's a sweet girl, aren't you, honey? You a sweet girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's you, honey. That's you. Yeah. What a good girl. What a good girl you are. Oh, I love you, honey. I love you, I love you. Oh, merci. What a sweet girl. Yes, she is. Well, the princess and I have been joined by Sullivan. And here comes that Mikey. There's that Mikey. Hi, Mikey. Did you have a good adventure, Bobby? Look at that, Bobby. Bobby Michaels. You gonna come cuddle? Come on. Come on, honey. What the fuck's that? Hairball. There's that Mikey. Yeah, there's that good Mikey right there. All right. Look at her. What are you thinking, Bobby? What are you thinking, Mikey? You gonna have something to eat? Oh, yeah, we got one more. One more reading to do and about a cup and a half of coffee. We started doing some of our breathing exercises and stretching and there's a bee. OP leaves soon because they really put a damper on sitting outside when they keep annoying me and won't go away. Mikey's just had a bite to eat. Now he's going off on another adventure. When I woke up, he was in the crook of my left arm, and that was a nice thing. We bounced around from bed to bed again last night. I think we started out sleeping upstairs, but then ended up on Audie's bed in the living room for a while, and then went back upstairs. And anyway, I think that's about all we got for this morning. So, from all of us here at the Mike Show, these guys wish you nothing but goodness, but me from the cold black ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloodied, burdened, Hollow, shattered, cracked, hopeless, helpless, forsaken, and forlorn soul. I don't know about helpless, 
piss off, and thanks for not tuning in. Happy Tuesday.